All right, so we're going to try to create a uh, film script using just Google Docs. No plugins, no Caltex, no having to create accounts with anything, no nefarious plugins to make the uh, uh, Google Docs work the way you want it to work. We're just going to use built-in Google Docs functionality. So here goes. Let's just jump right in there. I'm going to put a link in the description to this file so you can copy it, but I'll just copy that right now. All we do is we go File, Make a Copy, and I'm going to call this Final 9. Now the downside to copying these documents is you use you lose all of the formatting, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. What I'm going to do is just delete a bunch of this stuff, anything that we don't need. And let's see. Okay, so we've got a base document here, and this is going to be all we need to get started. So here we go. First thing you need to do is you're going to have to learn a couple of shortcuts. Once you get used to it, once you've gone through this once or twice, you'll find that it goes so quickly for you. First thing we're going to do is select everything down here, and we're going to make sure that we're, our left indent is set to 2.5, which it is. Second thing we're going to do is look at line spacing. So we'll go format, um, line and paragraph spacing. It's set to single. We'll also look at custom spacing and set the after to zero. That's important. That's so that when we hit enter, we get uh, it goes on to the next line rather than insert a default space. Uh, for our slug line, we're going to set this as our heading one. So we go here, we go heading one, and we go update heading one to match. You do have to do this, and I'll show you, I'll show you in the next one coming up first uh, uh, why you have to do that. Here's normal text, and again, we go here, normal text, and we go update normal text to match. If you notice, the shortcut is up here, control alt zero. We're gonna click update normal text to match. Then we go to the name, which is heading two, but watch this, if I hit enter a couple of times, um, and I hit control alt two, it actually changes the size. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess things up. It's not doing what we want it to do. So again, the formatting has been lost because we copied. Once we set it up once for the document, we're good to go. So we go Heading 2. Our, uh, we're going to Update Heading 2 to match. And remember, Control-Alt-2 is our shortcut. Last one is the dialog. And we're going to go Normal Text, Heading 3, Update, Heading 3 to match. If, if you do want to use a parenthetical, I just go... Uh, dialog, which is Control Alt 3, and then I hit uh, Tab one time. So we're ready to start typing. This is normal text, and normal text. If you notice now, when I hit Enter, it does default back to that two and a half margin, which is which is perfect. So I could put another slug line here if I wanted to, uh, or if I hit Enter a couple times, it's just going to keep that left justification where I want it, and we're now in normal text where I can type my action. Okay, if I want to put uh, a name, remember it's Control-Alt-2. That works in a Mac as well too. The shortcut for the Mac is Option-Command and then the number. So once again, Option-Command-1, Option-Command-2, or Option-Command-3. So I put a name, should be all caps, hit Enter, undo the all caps, Control-Alt-3, and we're ready to start typing dialog. Okay, again, learning these, um, these basic uh, shortcuts does take a, a little bit of getting used to, but I found with other programs that I've used to create uh, scripts, you have to know some shortcuts anyway, so it doesn't take too long. I've got page numbers enabled by default. That should help. And uh, the last thing I should mention is that if we go up here and we go options, we could save this as your default style. You don't probably don't want to do that though, because then it means every time you start a Google Doc, you're going to start with this style set, and that's, that's definitely not what I want. I want the standards uh, for most typical documents. So one of the potential problems that might happen is you hit backspace by accident and you change your less left justification. Easy fix for that, a couple of ways we can do that. One is you simply go up here uh, to normal text and select it. If you click on it, that'll take you right back to where you were. Uh, alternately, what you could do is hit Control-Alt-1, and for some strange reason, you have to hit it twice. Control-Alt-0, if I hit the backspace again, does the same thing because that's our normal text, except for if you hit Control-Alt-0, you only have to hit it one time and that'll get your justification on the left side back to where it was. By the way, there is another way that we can actually access these if, if you're really not good at remembering shortcuts. Uh, all we would need to do is go to the line that we want. So if we want to insert a name here, we know that that's heading two. So we go apply heading two and look at that. Away we go, we're ready to type. Uh, and now for the next one, I want heading three. And all I do is I would go no to heading three, apply heading three, and it, it in, indents the proper amount. You can see that it's set to five up here, which is in line with the rest of the dialogue. 
That is another way I find that slower. The shortcuts are definitely faster, but if you're not good at shortcuts, that does give you an alternate. That's it for now. Remember those shortcuts. Over and out.